the Angel of the North is located near Gateshead, Tyne and Ware, United Kingdom. It is a huge steel structure with a height of 20 meters with a wingspan of 54 meters. In 2007, BBC News listed the Angel among the 10 greatest public artworks in the United Kingdom. The Angel, like many of Antony Gormley's sculptures, explores concerns related to the connection between art, politics, the environment, and society. People are always asking, why an angel? The only response I can give is that no one has ever seen one, and we need to keep imagining them. The angel has three functions. Firstly, a historic one to remind us that below this site coal miners worked in the dark for 200 years. Secondly, to grasp hold of the future, expressing our transition from the industrial to the information age. And lastly, to be a focus for our hopes and fears, Sir Anthony Gormley said. Another place is a set of contemporary sculptures by British artist Anthony Gormley that may be found on Crosby Beach in Merseyside, England. The piece consists of 100 cast iron figures facing out to sea that are scattered across a two-mile length of beach between Waterloo and Blundellsands. In 2015, Anthony Gormley said in an interview, I always wanted this to be an open work. The sculptures that comprise another place are not statues of ideal or heroic figures from history. They are simply copies of my own body that I used to indicate a human space and space at large. In 2005, when the works were first installed on Crosby, I loved the way they took their place so well amongst the great drainage outflow pipes, the estuary, and the passing ships. Here is a beach where art and life intermingled, where questions would naturally arise of who we are, where do we come from, and where are we going? Breathing Room is a geometric installation which can remind of a three-dimensional drawing. The piece blurs the gap between architecture and an image of architecture. Anthony Gormley's work has investigated the relationship between consciousness and space for several decades. The installation fills 36 cubic meters with a photoluminescent space frame structure. It bounces from 70,000 lux of intense light to no light at all. Every 10 minutes, the darkness is interrupted by 40 seconds of dazzling light, which transforms a calm meditative state to interrogative agitation. This confusing experience allows the viewer to witness the shape-shifting of the conventional 3D space and to interact with it. Passage is a metal tunnel in the shape of a human body. It's 12 meters long and made of 6 millimeters weathering steel. Narrow walls allow viewers to walk inside of it making it an object and an experience at the same time. When you enter the object, the body blocks the light, making it a strange journey into darkness. Some people stop in the middle because walking in the dark tunnel appears to feel much longer than it should be. When you reach the end and turn around, the bright light in an outline of a human body appears at the opposite end. The passage lets you literally experience the light at the end of a tunnel. Horizon Field is an installation that features 100 life-sized iron statues of the human body, located in the Austrian Alps in the land Vorarlberg, 2,039 meters above the sea level and covering 150 square kilometers. It is the first art project of its kind. Some of the figures are grouped together, while others stand alone. In snow or in the grassy alpine fields, the figures are scattered across a vast terrain that can't be accessed easily. I see this as an environmental project. It's asking where does the human being fit in the scheme of things. If there are 6 billion years left for the great nuclear reactor at the center of our solar system to carry on producing energy, how long will Homo erectus in its modern form participate in the evolution of life on this planet? We could be out of the door very soon, the author conveys. Bed was one of Anthony Gormley's first works after graduating from the Slade. 86 40 slices of mother's pride bread were used which were dried and dipped in paraffin wax. They were stacked and layered producing the final piece. The volume of the artist's body is reflected in blank space, the boundaries of which are formed by a bread-based sculpture. Bed started as a drawing. I lay on the floor and my wife drew around me. I made this silhouette into a contour map making an approximation of the volume of my body divided into two identical halves, mirror images of each other. Sculpture has traditionally been about imposing mind over matter by an act of intelligence and will. I was looking for a more natural process, 
and eating is the primal process by which matter is transformed into mind. Antony Gormley stated, Host is flooding the gallery to a depth of 23 centimeters within a mixture of equal parts of earth and Atlantic salt water, consisting of the raw, organic, elemental substance counterposed to an artificial, constructed architectural environment. Host is the outside brought inside. The interaction of the clay and water with the air is unpredictable. When the work was presented in Kiel, Germany, the color shifted from black to orange within the first few days of installation. Host is described by Gormley as the site of becoming. He claims, this is the elemental world, a primal soup brought within the frame of a museum as a changing painting that you can sense, as well as see. The point is to heal the division between inside and outside and bring the elemental world into a cultural frame. Here is a materialized landscape, not pictured, formulated or interpreted. Exposure is a monumental sculpture and a work of public art. Gormley's squatting figure was put on a small strip of land between the Dutch town of Lelestat and the sea. It is made in response to environmental changes, such as global warming and rising sea levels. As the water levels rise, the sculpture will eventually be submerged. The object is 26 meters tall, weighs 60 tons, has 5,400 bolts, and has 2,000 components. If this hunched man stood up, he would tower over 100 meters. Antony Gormley states of exposure, I wanted an object that couldn't be read immediately. The nature of the object changes. You can see it as a human form in the distance. It becomes more abstract the closer you get to it. And finally it becomes a chaotic frame through which you can look at the sky. Antony Gormley's Quantum Cloud is a modern sculpture placed near to the O2 in London. The sculpture was commissioned for the location and finished in 1999. It is Gormley's highest sculpture to date, standing 30 meters. It is made up of a series of tetrahedral components built of 1.5 meters long steel sections. The steel components were assembled using a computer model that started with points on the surface of an expanded figure based on Gormley's body. Antony Gormley was influenced by quantum scientist Basil Hiley when making Quantum Cloud. Theories on pre-space as a mathematical structure underpinning space-time and matter inspired the concept of Quantum Cloud. Field series consist of thousands of small soil terracotta figures to up to 210,000 each between 8 and 26 centimeters high. Field has been installed and exhibited in a variety of locations. The design approach varies depending on the location, but the miniature figures are always arranged in a dense carpet with each figure facing the viewer. Ideally, the field is extended into a doorway or around a corner, giving the sense of an endless horde as the figures disappear. Gormley remarks, From the beginning, I was trying to make something as direct as possible with clay, the earth. I wanted to work with people and to make a work about our collective future and our responsibility for it. I wanted the art to look back at us, its makers and later viewers, as if we were responsible, responsible for the world that it and we were in.